Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series. If you are new to my channel, my name is Mira Ray, but you can call me Ray. But just to give you guys a little bit of information, if you don't know, I have a Royal Family series on my channel. As this series is starting, we are currently on season two, episode 61 of that series. I started my Royal Family series on generation five, I believe. So I had already been playing multiple generations of my Royal Family before the series started. But a lot of people wanted to know how it all started. So so this series is basically me recreating that whole first generation of the royals. Now I have been talking about this on my channel for a long time, so if you have been here for a while, you know that I was talking about making this a machinima and just like this short story. However, I did realize how much I didn't remember from the very first royals, and it was also before I like really got invested into the storylines of my sims. So I decided to make it into a Let's Play series first, so if you're expecting this to be like as in depth and having like machinima intros and stuff like my current royal family series, then I'm so sorry to disappoint. This is going to be very much like the start of season one of my royal family series where I'm just playing The Sims and I'm going to be following as much as I can remember from my first royals, but some of it might end up being a little bit different. So yeah, this episode is going to be just mostly introductions and giving you guys some backstory and we're going to be doing something pretty important to the storyline in just a minute too, but I will show you guys our Sims first. So this is our main character. This is Ravenna, who will later become Queen Ravenna and also will later become a vampire. So we are actually going to be having her become a vampire in this first episode. The story that I created with her is that originally Windenburg was like a small village with just like a lot of land, but the village was invaded and attacked and a bunch of people were killed, including Ravenna's family. And she is like one of the very few survivors. So the people that invaded her village the leader or like the general, I guess, the person who's in charge of all of it. He is now King Henry of Windenburg. And then you guys will meet them in a second, but this is Queen Caroline, his wife. So I imagine that this whole like invasion thing happened like a year ago or so. And right now Ravenna is wandering, trying to survive. She's like vowed to get revenge for her family. And she's kind of heard stories about this vampire who might be able to give her the power to get revenge. Revenge. So when we actually go into the game, you guys will see she will be searching for that vampire. So I made her aspiration master vampire because she wants to become one. However, she is not one yet. She is ambitious. She is self-absorbed and she is evil. So I do imagine that she's always kind of been ambitious and self-absorbed before. And then just the whole thing, the tragic stuff that happened with her family to her village. I think that caused her to have the evil trait because all she has on her mind right now is revenge. I actually also got her name from the Snow White and the Huntsman movie, because that queen's name was Ravenna and I'd always loved it. So that's what I had named her. And then I had to just imagine that she's been on her own for a while, probably like going through a bunch of woods and the forest or something. I don't know. I just figured that she would have some sort of marks or scars on her. Although when she turns into a vampire, that would all disappear. But just to start, just to make it feel more realistic, that's what I did. And then this dress is by Sifix. However, when I first started, I was playing with like no custom content. So I used a lot of the clothes from the vampire vampire pack, but I thought this was fitting for this series since I do use custom content now. So this is Ravenna, and then let me show you our king next. So this is King Henry the First. I have like just a few different outfits. They're probably not all from the same time period, but I just did the best I could. But yeah, so King Henry was basically the one in charge when they invaded Ravenna's town. And after the invasion and after they like built up Windenburg into more of a kingdom, he became the king and they named it Windenburg. I hadn't decided what what it would be called before that. My current royal family is inspired by the British royal family. And then I found out later, I had no idea that Windenburg was supposed to be inspired by Germany. So maybe I could like add something to the storyline of them like taking over and I guess just like changing it to be more British inspired. I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think about that. I just thought that would give a little bit more of an explanation and I felt like made a little bit more sense too. But yeah, so he's now the king. His aspiration is to have a successful lineage. He is a perfectionist and self-assured and he is family oriented. So currently he is married to Queen Caroline. They've been trying for a child
child for years, but they have not been able to have one. And then Queen Caroline's dress is also by Sifix. However, I used this one a lot. Oh, this one's actually from Get Famous. But I thought this was cute too, but this one's probably more fitting. This one is by Sifix as well. I will say too, don't get too attached to Queen Caroline because uh, in my story, she ended up dying. Ravenna ends up killing her. So we will get to that later in an episode. Yeah, I should probably warn you guys, this was a little bit more evil and violent, I guess, than my current royal family series. I just thought it made more sense because back then people did some really crazy and violent things, but I am a squeamish person in general, so I promise it won't be like too much. So Queen Caroline, she also wants a successful lineage. That's her aspiration. She is good, she is gloomy, and she is family oriented. And then I hadn't picked out like too many outfits for them yet, but the formal one I used is from the vampire pack. And then I gave her some gloves and this crown is by Bats from Westeros. So that's her formal wear. I don't know how often we would see her in that, but I just wanted to show you guys. But yeah, so these are our royals, but let's go ahead and go to the actual world. And then we're going to see if we can get Ravenna to turn into a vampire. Okay, so we are actually starting this with Ravenna in the world, and then we will get to the castle later. But as I mentioned before, Ravenna has already heard stories of this vampire. I mean, back then I just used Vlad, so I'm just gonna use Vlad now. But I just feel like she's been searching for like a really long time for him. And then I don't know, maybe she like went through the woods and found it, found Forgotten Hollow. So she's here, she's jogging to Vlad's mansion right now. So her goal here is to convince him to turn her into a vampire. She's going to tell Vlad her plan and hopefully convince him to turn her. I think she's heard stories of Vlad like having to hide Forgotten Hollow because his land was taken over by King Henry II. So I think she's hoping her wanting to get revenge on him is what's going to convince Vlad to turn her. So we're gonna knock on the door here. I've never, I have, gosh, it's been so long since I've been here. All right, we're in here. Uh, Vlad is playing the piano. So let's do a friendly introduction. Ravenna is tense. She's been traveling for days, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, so she is introducing herself. I forgot like what tra like Vlad's evil, right? Uh, let's, I guess, complain about problems. Sure, because she needs to, yeah, complain, vent. She's just kind of showing up here, but I think she's telling him like she has something really important. Oh no, though, it looks like the relationship is kind of low. Okay, so this isn't going great. So maybe she should not have started venting quite yet. Uh, let's discuss interests. Let's get to know him. I guess like praise him first and just say like she's heard stories of, I guess, I don't know how powerful he is. It's an unpleasant conversation. We're trying. All right, I'm like kind of getting somewhere, but it's an abhorrent conversation now. And I just learned that Vlad is evil. Okay, beg forgiveness. Please don't be mean to us. We're trying here. You're kind of like really important to our story. So please turn Ravenna into a vampire. Okay. Oh, he's a music lover and a loner too. I've gotten it to a casual conversation conversation. They're both feeling fine. No one's tense. I'm going to talk to him just a little bit more before I ask him to turn us. I guess ask about vampire history. All right, so she's told him about her family and her plan to get revenge. She's told him that she has heard of him and being able to give her powers and turn her into a vampire so she can get revenge. Maybe she's promising him like the safety of like, I guess his safety. She promises that once she becomes queen that she'll keep him safe. Okay, they are like, things are going pretty well. So I think I'm going to ask him to turn her now. So ask to turn. Oh, I'm really excited for this actually. Okay, let's see. Is he gonna say yes? Um. Yes, <gasps> it's happening. Oh, he's bald, oh, okay. Oh, he looks different. Oh my gosh, okay, he's gonna turn into a vampire. I'm excited. I remember it takes like a few days, doesn't it? <gasps> oh, it's happening, it's happening. Oh, sorry, I can't keep the camera steady, I'm excited. Let's see, oh, okay. Well, he's like giving her some of the vampire blood. Oh no, he was upset about that. I don't know what happened. All right, well, he's turning her. She is strangely hungry from a weird feeling. Um, So I don't remember how long this lasts. I feel like it's like, a few days. So I don't know if I need to fast forward. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, let's fast forward here. She's going to be here for a few days and Vlad's gonna like prepare her and help like right before she goes to the castle because she's going to basically try to have an audience with the king so she can meet him. And the goal is, this will probably be the next episode, but the goal is to like seduce the king. So yeah, we'll get to that in the next episode. But first, let me fast forward here a few days so she turns into a vampire. All right, so a few days has passed now and Ravenna is officially a vampire. So this is Ravenna. So I figured that like once she became a vampire, her scars and stuff would go away or like the scratches or whatever. 
whatever. She's like readied herself to go to the castle and to see the king. So I had her change. I had her like do her hair and stuff. So I will have her use, uh, okay, so vampire show dark form. I don't have like, okay, so yeah, mostly I just changed her eyes. And then of course she has like her vampire teeth too, but I don't have like all the other detailed stuff that comes with it. So this is Ravenna in her dark form, in her vampire form. I guess we'll do some dark meditation right now. So it's about to be the afternoon time. Vlad knows her plan and is gonna help her as much as he can. We are going to have Ravenna now travel to the palace. Okay, so Ravenna is now in front of the Windenburg castle. This is not the very first castle that I had played with. I don't actually remember what that was, but I downloaded this from the gallery and I thought it worked really well. This is called Medieval Castle and this is by Dressing Oak. So I'll put that information in the video description. And I'm gonna have Ravenna knock. So we'll say that they are expecting, I don't know if they did like people just show up to that if the king, when he has like audiences, when he's talking to people, I think it's something that people have to like wait in line for or something. I don't know. I'm gonna say that they're expecting Ravenna. She wants to meet with the king. She says she has something important that she needs to talk to him about. We'll say it's, I don't know, something, like she has to make up something. Like this is all so she can meet the king and this will be her process of seducing him. So it's not gonna happen here, but she hopes to like see him outside of the palace somewhere where people aren't around, but it just helps if she's like kind of already familiar or if he like recognizes her face, if that makes sense. But since she's in, I'm gonna just show you guys a really quick look at the palace. It's kind of dark right now, just cause it's cloudy. This is the main floor on the entrance. So we have like a dining room and stuff here and a storage here. I actually didn't even check if they have a throne room, but I would assume that is where she would meet the king. Yeah, here we just have like, it's just some bedrooms and stuff. This is just a really cool looking palace. Like I just think it fits this perfectly. There's not too much going on here. Mostly again, it's just bedrooms and like storage areas. Oh, in the basement, they have like a whole thing of treasure here. And then they have like some garden areas down here too and a place for like the servants and stuff. All right, so since there's no ballroom or throne room in here, I'm sorry, I probably should have checked that first, but I'm gonna use this as the throne room. So I'll have Ravenna go in here and then the king will meet her there in a second. Okay, so I had to teleport the king in here. So yeah, we're going to attempt introduction. We'll see how this goes. But yeah, I just kind of feel like it's up to, oh wait, hey, that worked. Okay, cool. She's able to like actually talk to him. But I think he has to be like impressed and like want to talk to her. Like it's very much in these times what the king says goes. So if the king doesn't like you, you're probably dead. But if the king likes you, then you'll have a good life. So we want to get the king to like us. But yeah, so they are, okay, well, I guess they're done because he's walking away. And we do have a small relationship with the king now, so that's good. And then also, as I had mentioned, King Henry and Queen Caroline, they have been trying for a baby for a while. I would say like probably a year or so. I think that King Henry is getting frustrated because he wants heirs, he wants children. So I feel like that has kind of taken a toll on King Henry and Queen Caroline's marriage. Like they're not getting along as well. I don't think Ravenna knows this, but she is hoping to like, like break them up and marry the king so she can become the queen. But I do think we still have a little bit more time. So I am going to like skip a few days ahead. And I think that maybe Ravenna, she is going to try to find out. Oh, wait, hold on. Chat with King Henry. The king's coming back to talk to her, but maybe she can talk to him then and like find out if there's anywhere that he's going to be soon in public or just anywhere that she knows that she can meet him to like talk to him more. Maybe she finds out that he like goes on walks on the beach at night or something like that, like somewhere where she could meet him. I think that would actually work. So maybe she just finds that out. They're just having a casual conversation and that comes up. So I wonder if they could actually like do that tonight. Like she finds out he's gonna be there. Oh, okay, so Queen Caroline's actually in here right now. I guess she should talk to her and attempt an introduction with her. Did that work? Are you able to talk? No, okay, that didn't work. So I guess Queen Caroline is kind of very standoffish with Ravenna right now and isn't being very friendly with her. Interesting, okay, so now that Caroline is there. Maybe we should leave, but I am going to skip to the evening time. Maybe we can like meet Henry at the, like the beach I'm thinking of is like right here. So I wonder if there's a way we can get Henry down there. Okay, so I have fast forward it to the night times. So we have, this is so creepy, but we have Henry here. So he's like about to go on his walk on the beach and I have Ravenna who has found him. So I think she's going to like stop him and be like, hey. Okay, so we'll have her ask about day. And then, I mean, Henry did tell her that 
he goes here to walk at night, so I don't know if that would be considered creepy to him. I think he likes Ravenna. I think he's attracted to Ravenna. So I don't know, maybe Ravenna was just saying she was like about to catch a boat home or something like that, like back to the village. So she's talking to him now. Oh, okay, so he is, he's sad. And they just became good friends. It's interesting. Maybe him and Caroline, they just got into another argument again about like them not being able to have any kids yet. So maybe she's asking what's wrong and maybe Henry feels comfortable enough to vent to her about that. I'm gonna have her try to cheer him up. I'm wondering like if she's able to cheer him up, if she should start like flirting with him. I think in the next episodes when we'll like continue that a little bit more. I know this is horrible. I'm sorry guys. Ravenna is evil. So like, what do you expect? I just feel so bad doing this. This is why I said don't get attached to Queen Caroline. Okay, so I don't know. They've walked up here, but um, he's feeling fine now. So he's feeling better. They have like such a high relationship right now. I'm gonna have her start flirting a little bit. I'm just gonna make the goal like a little bit of a romantic relationship. And then in the next episode, we will continue with that. So, okay, I'm gonna have her flirt and embrace. By the way, I don't know exactly how long of a series this is gonna be. Again, it's gonna be until Ravenna dies. And I don't know how long that's gonna be. I would say like a very rough estimate, probably like 10 episodes, but I'm not 100% sure. But all right, so they're flirting. They just hugged. He's probably saying like, thank you. All right, cool. We got a little bit of a romantic relationship. Awesome. Things are starting. Her quest to become queen will continue in the next episode. I'm actually very excited for this and I hope you guys are too. But since we got that far, I am going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed the very first episode of this series. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I'm like somewhat following things that I remember from when this happened, but you guys are welcome to give any suggestions that you have. I'm open to adding things to the story. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.